Hi, I'm Jane, and my project is modelling the hazard and risk of landslide dams on the west coast of New Zealand. A landslide dam forms when a landslide comes down and it blocks the river, and it forms a lake. These lakes can be massive, they can take up the entire valley, like you can see in this diagram, and eventually they burst, and they cause what we call an outburst flood. These can have really, really big impacts on communities. This top photo here is of Tibet. A monsoon caused a landslide down outburst flood, and it took out the main road, it took out some of the houses, and it took a really, really long time for them to clean up after this. Even though this was overseas, these can happen in New Zealand. We have lots of information around where landslides could form, and we have lots of information around where landslide dams have formed in the past. What we don't have much information on is where landslide dams could form. So I've come up with a model for being able to predict where landslide dams could form on the west coast. I've looked at a whole lot of factors. I've looked at the valley width, so that's how wide my valley is. I've looked at relief, which is the steepness of the slope, so that's whether or not it's a really steep, narrow slope like this, which could easily block. I've looked at upstream area, which is how much stuff is up that could potentially come down in a big flood. So this is a bubble graph, um, and it, the colours relate to the valley width. So the red areas are where there's a much higher risk of a landslide dam forming. The bubble size relates to the upstream area, so that's how big a lake could be. And our really at risk areas are anywhere you see big red bubbles. As you can see, I really like bubbles. My project has come up with some really interesting findings. The main one being that our most at risk areas aren't necessarily around the towns. This middle photo here is the Whatadawa catchment, and it's a really big dairy farming community. There's a lot of small communities there, and if a landslide dam were to come down, it could really impact them. There's not much place for that water to go. The second photo is of the Haast catchment. This is State Highway 6. It's one of our major alpine highways. If a landslide dam were to form here and material could come down, it could be a really, really long time for that to be up and running again. So these can have really, really long-term impacts on communities. My project's going to work with councils, it's going to work with civil defence to inform things like evacuation plans and produce maps for where landslide dams and flooding could occur. Hopefully, my project will be able to help save lives and improve things like evacuations during a disaster. These events can seem really, really scary, but the more information we have around them, the more science we have, the more we can help communities to enable them to be able to become more resilient when something does happen. Thank you.